guys, welcome back. It's me, Bryce, and today I'm tackling one of the most common questions that I get. How do you afford to live in one of the most expensive cities with all those kids? My name is Bryce Gruber. I'm a New York City mom of four kids and one crazy husband. And it seriously takes a village, and in my case, all of Midtown Manhattan to raise our kids. It is insane, but it is my life and I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm gonna do what probably nobody else has the balls to do, and I'm actually going to break down the real expenses that are here and what we do spend money on, what we don't spend money on, and kind of how we make it all come together. I live in a three bedroom, and they're big bedrooms, two and a half bathroom in Midtown. We have a small backyard, outdoor space is like crazy here, and short of being Mariah Carey, and like having a penthouse overlooking Central Park, this is sort of insanity. A, do I have family money? Or B, did we hit the lottery? Or C, is like Yosef some government spy? The answer to all of those things is no. We just got really smart about moving into this neighborhood at the right time. When I had my first two kids and we were first married, we lived in this nice, cute walk-up apartment in Chelsea. We probably would have stayed there for a long time, but then, boom, we were pregnant with number three. Almost everyone in New York has one or two or sometimes three kids in one bedroom apartments. That's like very, very normal. But when I was pregnant with the third, my husband, who's a real estate broker, said, you have to come see this apartment. It's on the west side in Midtown. It's the same price. It's like more than twice the size and has a backyard. The only thing that was a little different was instead of like all the trendy boutiques and cafes, we had heroin dealers on the corner and all sorts of other like, you know, colorful characters in the neighborhood. And my husband said to me, listen, if there's one thing I know, it's real estate. This neighborhood is changing and what Chelsea was 15 or 20 years ago is kind of what Hell's Kitchen is going to become. This 1600 square foot apartment today, if you were to buy an apartment in this neighborhood on this street, would be $2,000 per square foot, which is not happening for us. We are pretty normal people. Yes, we do own a home, but no, it's not here. The average three bedroom, two and a half bathroom in this neighborhood on this block right now would go for between the high 7,000s and 10,000 a month. We are super hashtag blessed. We're not even in that neighborhood of what we're paying. When the first two kids were little, we had like a normal four door sedan. Everything was good, loved it. And then as soon as the fourth kid was born, we were like, oh my God, we're out of space. My husband was like, we need the minivan. We don't have a choice. It's a Toyota minivan. It's like not the flashiest car in the world, but I have to tell you, like, I love that car now. I can fit like four strollers in that thing and groceries for a week. Parking is a very real issue in Manhattan. There is no street parking on our street. There's no free parking. You don't get like a parking space in a building in Manhattan. The average, parking garage price in the neighborhood is around $550 a month, which sounds insane because it is. I guess I got lucky that I've kind of become friendly with my local parking garage guys. So I pay about half that because they had extra space and you just tip nicely and bring a lot of snacks. So the private schools are a big deal in New York. A lot of people send their kids to public schools, but not every public school is created equal in this city. The kids are zoned for a school down the street, which is amazing for K through five, but once you get out of that like third, fourth, fifth grade level, they have no arts programs, no extracurriculars, no sports, nothing, which is not a happy way for a little kid to grow up. So we started looking at private schools. The private schools in Manhattan, they all come out to about $40,000 per year per child. So for our four children, that's 160 grand a year before we even pay taxes. Not happening. So we decided we would send our kids to a private school in New Jersey, which is about 20 minutes over the bridge in the minivan. I can send all four children for the price of one child here in Manhattan, and they have a wonderful education out there. So we do most of our shopping also right by the kids' school. There's like a big, amazing grocery store there because 
We also keep kosher. Whatever you pay for chicken, we probably pay two or three times that amount. So our grocery bills, if we did everything fully in Manhattan for this many people, we would easily be at five or $600 a week. God bless you, New Jersey. Thank you for your cheaper groceries. Everything else is a little bit more expensive here too, like the cable bills. New York City has like their own tax for cable. Like that is crazy. When you have this many kids and your expenses are like, woo, high, then you also have to like rein it in with what you do for yourself. So if I need a new dress, I will buy a new dress, but I'm not going overboard and buying new purses just because I feel like getting new purses. And my children getting a really good education comes before any bad. Between Yosef hustling, like, like crazy and I mean really he works so much and me kind of having my hand in a million different pots whether it's writing or television or whatever else we're really lucky that we're able to make this work and this is kind of our philosophy that like if we have the ability to put food on the table for children we'll have as many children as we can afford and not ask for anyone's help with prices are different and expenses are different everywhere you live so i would love to see in the comments like what things you're dealing with what's really crazy in your neighborhood and if you have any more questions for me like if i didn't tackle something like my cable bill and you want to know how much that is like no problem i will totally share that with you and please like this video, subscribe, and definitely make sure you comment whatever you're feeling because I want to hear it and see it. Thanks, guys.